Thanksgiving Rules by Lori Friedman. I'm Percy Isaac Gifford. Today's Thanksgiving Day. This is my empty stomach. This is the buffet. And here's a little secret. I'm a Thanksgiving pro. When it comes to Turkey Day, there's nothing I don't know. I get the most out of my holiday. I promise you can too. Just follow my simple rules. That's all you have to do. The first thing you must know, moms like to set a mood. They like to control everything from your clothing to the food. So wear whatever you have to from your head down to your feet. Remember, the sooner you get dressed, the sooner you can eat. Next, you have to get involved. Dad likes when I volunteer. He says seeing me help out fills his heart with cheer. Now, I know that it's no fun to sweep or clean or peel, but trust me when I tell you it's the fastest way to the meal. After you're done cleaning, I'm sure you'll want to eat, but you can't do that just yet. First, you have to greet. That means when family or friends arrive, you'll have to be polite. But here's a helpful tip. It doesn't have to take all night. I'm talking about an art form I call the quick hello. A simple friendly greeting and then you're good to go. The place you should be heading is what I call the main event. It's best to get there early. For directions, follow the scent. Now please take a moment and savor this part of your day. For my friend, you have arrived at the Thanksgiving Buffet! Here's where I can be most helpful. It's time to fill your plate. Remember the round thing in your hand can hold a lot of weight. Start with piles of turkey. It's best when nice and hot. Then pour on a little gravy. Better yet, pour on a lot. From there, you'll want to add a little something on the side. This part can be tricky. Stick with me, I'll be your guide. First, take sweet potatoes. Trust me, they taste good. Don't be afraid of stuffing, even though it looks like wood. Definitely try the green beans. For color, add cranberry sauce. If you don't eat all of these, it will be your loss. Now the time has come to issue my Thanksgiving decree. I officially command you to eat everything you see. Eat beets, carrots, broccoli, pumpkin, squash, and yams. Eat soups, salads, pickles, chickens, ducks, and clams. Eat rice, mushrooms, walnuts, almonds, figs, tomatoes. Eat fish, veal, asparagus, corn, and mashed potatoes. Eat spinach, biscuits, cabbage, oysters, shrimp, and roast. Eat noodles, ham, and eggplant, and caviar on toast. Eat liver, steak, and onions, Brussels sprouts, and peas. And do not be afraid to say, I'll have lots more, please. Your plate should now be close to full, though hopefully there are holes. My advice, plug them up with piles of dinner rolls. My friend, you've now got what you need. Go find a place to sit. It's time to gobble up your dinner. Eat every single bit. Eat till your plate is squeaky clean, then go back for more. The second time around is something I adore. And now for the finale. It's time for dessert. Sampling some of everything really cannot hurt. You should try each type of pie, taste every tart or cake, show that you appreciate everyone who tried to bake. And while we're on the subject, appreciation's a big deal. Today's a day to show you're thankful and not just for the meal. It's a day to show your loved ones just what they mean to you. So before Thanksgiving is over, there's something I like to do. I give everyone around me their own Thanksgiving hug. 
I call it the Percy Isaac Special, which means it's big and snug. Almost everyone seems to like it. They almost always say, how nice. But I must admit that over the years, I've been given some advice. Once or twice, it's been suggested that I modify my technique. So I now provide the Overeaters Special, a simple light peck on the cheek.